Hello beautiful people, Twitch me, welcome to another programming workout of mine. I will do 5 minutes of typing and 25 minutes of exercise in some of the programming language. Oh, let's get into it. And I want, oh, no, that's not the thing I wanted. I want uh, this one. <clears throat> okay. The main goal is to do as least amount of errors as possible. All right. Three percent, yes. I'm getting there.
and we are out of the time so by typing uh, what is this i go here to execute program and we will start with javascript that's the thing i'm doing lately 67 percent okay so let's continue Ooh, uh, let's do that one for example well, let's start we've seen accesses the getters and setters and object literals yeah so this is the properties on classes i think i started with this one already but i did not finish it so this will return the team we can also use accesses in classes as with object literals a getters function will be called when we access the property okay get name so this will be the uh, the user setters work in classes too okay so we will what user dot name betty so now it is betty and the setter is here set name body go cool. write the user class that takes initial name as a constructor stores that in names array property has a name getter and returns the last and has a setter that adds a new name to the array. Okay, so we want constructor uh, with name input parameter, and uh, we will set. Oh, I need uh, what was the names? So let names uh, be an array. And then we will putting things into it. So constructor name, and we will do this dot names dot push name. That will be our constructor. Then we want uh, getter. Okay. Get name takes nothing and return names dot peak that will look at the last one or or at least i believe so uh, then we want setter name that will take name and we will do this names push name close that and close the class and that should be it and it's not unexpected in the fire where okay so if i and this and that and that do i still get the same thing maybe so i will comment this that and that and we still have unexpected in the defier so what's the problem uh what about this guy still not so this is not it this thing kind of property of undefined okay so there's a problem with the names uh, maybe i cannot do the left thing in there okay cool so that was the error and now i will delete those two oh come on uh, 
So Okay, and now it should be okay, right? Names is not defined. So we'll start with a getter, I think. I'm in center. So we'll do boom, boom, boom. And we'll call them this, this, this. <laughs> now we have an undefined better because that does not have a Names, names. Okay, so the creation has no problem to push the thing. user user is a mayor okay so user names exist but user name I don't have right now so maybe the peak is problem so uh, do this names is not defined oh oh i see i see i uh, i didn't say this this dot names that should be available though So like one, two, three. Uh, okay. That is not what you can do. Peak, maybe. I thought you can do that. Closed three years ago. Mm. Yeah, I, I can do that, but I would rather do some nice. This, uh,
I can do the deconstruction. I like that one. So we will do. Uh, I'll go to the end, start killing things, and now I'll go here and say, uh, not that. I'll say that this the names. And that works. That took a while. Uh, when he makes the class, the child inherits any gathers and sellers from the parent. So animal can walk warm dog okay so it will be full false true like this and i finish set operations sets in every programming language provide a range of useful operations that are missing in javascript <laughs> Normally, sets have at least the three mo <gasps> most common in here. But I'm not. I might be reading it, but I'm not. Not focusing. I don't. I don't take it in. Just fly, <laughs> just fly by. Okay, sets in every programming language provide a range of useful operations that are missing in JavaScript. Normally, sets have at least three most common operations, union, intersection, and difference. It's okay if those aren't familiar. In this lesson, we'll define them and see how to implement them in JavaScript. First, we sometimes want to find a set union, which is a very, a very element that's in either set one or two. The closest array equivalent is concat. Uh, yeah. Set union is the same thing, but it respects the constraints. Constraint that a set only contains unique values. If the concat operation above were a set union, we'd expect a result of yeah unique values fortunately this is easy once you know the trick every set is an iterator every set is an iterator has or set is and the set constructor also accept iterators we can use the structuring with dot 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 to build an array containing every element in either set then we immediately build a new set out of that array i see so new set and we put it in and it will be true and true array from union set values and that will be uh sorry one two three four so here's a code problem for you to complete. Implement a general purpose set union function that returns the union of two sets. <sighs> function that returns the union of two sets. Okay, so it will be set one, set two, uh, which will be the input. And then we will return new uh, set and in the constructor we will do set one set uh, sorry and added that oh I missed one dot in over there set two like so and go uh, second. We sometimes want to find a set intersection. 
find the set intersection which is every element that's in both set1 and set2 with arrays we can use filter to do that filter takes in function f calls it on every array element and returns an array with all of the elements where f element was true In English, this example can be read, read as build an array of all array 1 elements, where array 2 also include, includes that element. So, we will array 1 filter, and this returns a new array. So, it will be 2, 3, 2, 3, just read it till array one filter and we ask if it's in an array two that's clever i like it i like this for sets we can use the same trick we'll convert set one into array then filter it checking Checking for whatever whether each element exists in set two. So we have two sets, then in the section set will be new set and we have an array from set one, then we will fint filter it and ask set two if it <laughs> if it has nothing. That's cool. Uh, so true. Uh, true, uh, like this. Uh, I like it. So, array from set, then we filter it. And that's beautiful. I, I like it. Array from intersection set. So, this will be two and three again. Uh, two and three. Some problem for me to solve. Implement a general purpose intersection function that returns the intersection of two sets. Okay, so it will take uh, set one and set two. I'll close that and open the body. Then uh, we will return. return new set and that will take an array but the array will be uh, our uh, arise to array what's it array from array from and we will put in set uh, one then we will do filter filter on it and the filter will take uh, n and uh, will all will, will set says true if uh, set two has n like this and I'll close this guy. Looks okay to me. And it's not syntax error. Uh, missing. Okay, here. Okay, I will. Set. Yeah, 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 I'm missing here one, uh, one parent parenthesis. Okay. Third, we sometimes want.
we sometimes want to find a set difference which is every element in set one that isn't also in set two it's called exactly like the intersection but we put yeah inside a filter and that yeah build an array okay so differences said uh, was one so this will be true false because it will have just the one uh, that I will say here because called problem implement a general purpose set difference function that returns the difference of two sets sure set one set two crap and we will return new set and here will be array from set one then we will filter that filter and the function will be n will be the input and it would be uh, not including that one so that would be uh, set to as n closing this parenthesis closing the filter and closing the set constructor and that works set union is different from array concatenation because it results it results in a set which has no duplicates set union is different from array concatenation because it results in a set which has no duplicates set intersection and difference both do the same thing as the array versions but they are better than our native array versions because they are much faster Set union is different from array concatenation because it results in a set which has no duplicates. Set intersection and difference both do the same thing as the array versions, but they are better than our native array versions because they are much faster. So the sets are much faster than our na naive, naive, na not native, naive versions. Using the technical terminology, all of the set, all of the set operations implemented here are O and, but our native array equivalents are O and to the power of two. In both cases, it's good to know about these operations. Uh, even if you don't, oh my God, this shouting. In both cases, it's good to know these operations if you don't memorize exactly how to write them. Okay, good. We finished lesson and we have uh, 20 seconds to go. So in about 12 days, I will finish this. A recent rate is 1.1 lesson per day. Oh, well, uh, okay, I will be looking forward to that 12 days. I'll finish this course maybe and we are out of time that means we are done done is better than perfect and i'll see you next time